the iPhone's camera app is going to change for good. Yes, in iOS 26, Apple radically changed the design of the camera app. Not only did they introduce a new icon, at least it was an old icon. They had this in iOS 6 and then they went to another one in iOS 7. And now in iOS 26, it went back to more or less the old design. Well, nevertheless, the camera app itself completely changed. There's more focus on photo and video and there are other bunch of important changes and in this video I'd like to share with you everything you need to know about the new camera app in iOS 26. So first of all what we see over here this is how it looks right now and I have to say it looks really refined really fresh and it reminds us of the iPhone camera app we had in iOS 6. In iOS 7 we had this icon, in iOS 18 we had this icon but now in iOS 26 we have this icon. That's the first change. Let's dive into the camera app and as we can immediately see we have this liquid glass and dynamic design this is visual in all the other apps and features of the iphone but now also implemented in the photos app and i have to say it looks pretty good what we also can immediately see is that they simplified the layout we have now a minimalist two mode layout with video or photo and we can get all the other modes by just pressing on it and swiping to the right or to the left so we have slow-mo time lapse cinematic video photo always with that translucent liquid effect so if we compare that with ios 18 as we had it before this is the difference I have to say, I really like how it feels on iOS 26 comparing to iOS 18. You can really slide over to the right and the left, and this is not really possible with iOS 18. And so if we go into photo mode, this is the screen that we now have. And what you can immediately see is that we are missing the new formats. So you can get this quite easy. What we need to do is we go back into our settings. And in settings, we go obviously to camera, in camera we go to formats and if we scroll down to ProRes and resolution control we just switch it on we can choose our format but now also in the camera app we have our formats in the top left corner just press on it and over here we get this gorgeous new layout where we can select in which format or resolution we want to take our pictures and i have to say the qualities of these pictures are really amazing especially with that new 3d feature that they added on the iphone in ios 26 so that is photos and if we go into video mode we also get this new selection we can press it we have our resolution and our frame rate pretty easy pretty basic and always with that liquid glass look if we film it looks like this so yeah that looks pretty nice we can also zoom in and zoom out and this is how it looked in ios 18 we go into the camera app in the top right we had our controls like 4k hd 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second that's how we could use these different kind of resolutions and frame rates so another thing that they added is the reorganized controls in photo we just swipe up we get our full selection of features or options that we can change like aspect ratio. But now in iOS 26, if you swipe up, you get this new screen, this new layout, which I think looks amazing. We have the timer, which was here on the right. We have our live pictures over there. We can choose the different styles, the exposure if you want. You can also change that. This is how it looked on iOS 18. This is how it looks on iOS 26. And you can also access this in iOS 26 by just hitting the top right there you get all the different features flashlight filter and you can obviously change the aspect ratio and with regards of video if we swipe up these are the selections we get you see with video we have the action mode if we want to activate it so they made everything a bit more simpler in their new design and here's my personal opinion about this new update i really like the new design it creates a lot of simplicity i like the decluttering of the interface and this new modern glassy aesthetic look what's great it's just keeping all the core features but what's interesting right now is that our assumption is that if we go into video mode and we press on the formats, so our resolution and our frame rate, we can see that 
there's something missing in the top right and that is because we are expecting on the next iPhone and in the next update obviously there will be an 8k option on the iPhone still this is not confirmed but I think that Apple is gonna launch this pretty quickly in the upcoming months maybe this layout is designed for that 8k option right here so there you go this is your first walkthrough of the new iOS 26 camera app yeah I'm curious to know what is your favorite feature do you like the old design or the new design share it with us in the comments make sure to subscribe hit that like button peace Thank you.